It's the biggest event of the year for ACA. It's kind of what all the work we put in throughout this season has gone to, and uh, more than excited to get out there, you feel the energy. It's time for the Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship, presented by Bass Pro Shops. College Fishing's longest running national championship event will bring hundreds of College Fishing's best teams to Pickwick Lake in Florence, Alabama to compete for this prestigious title. This lake right here is favorite lake in the country. I'm just gonna go out there and try to catch five today. There he is, big one, big one, big one, big one. Big one? Yeah, big one, dude. Stay on fish. No, 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 no. Boom! Got him, baby. How's that for a call? That right there is gonna put us to 17 and a half according to the Apollo scale. The stakes couldn't be higher as this event will crown a new national champion and award the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Over $30,000 in prizes and contingencies are on the line and schools are vying for valuable points in the final event of the season. Briar and Clint, fly fished for 2366 from Wallace State. Great day one here. Who can make a statement here on day one and set themselves up for a run at the national title on the final day? Find out next. That's our new leaders right there. Big Zoe! University of Montevallo, 24-96. National champions, Wallace State, Briar and Clinton. Welcome in to day one coverage of the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops. The final event of the season on the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series, the Association of Collegiate Anglers National Championship brings a ton of excitement and anticipation for the hundreds of top college anglers set to compete on Pickwick Lake in Florence, Alabama. This is my first uh, Collegiate Bass National Championships here on Lake Pickwick. Super excited to get out there and, you know, go fishing and just have a great day, hopefully. Early on this morning, rain showers are moving through the Shoals region. There is a potential for more rain throughout the day, bringing with it abundant cloud cover and gusting winds. This field of elite anglers is anticipating that the weather will have a positive impact on the bite. You know, with them uh, getting a bunch of rain down here, they've been moving a ton of water through this river system. I think they're pulling around 80,000 a day. Um, so hopefully it sets them up on these ledges real well to eat. The Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops marks the culmination of the current season and will pay out over $30,000 in prizes and contingencies, crown a national champion, and name a number one team in the Bass Pro Shops School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Really important day, day one of the Collegiate Bass National Championship. This is the event that is worth the most points throughout the whole entire year and uh, a great opportunity to make up ground on whoever's ahead. Here on day one, Teams will be positioning themselves to make a run at the national title on the final day of competition. In past years, here at Pickwick Lake, it has typically taken 42 to 46 pounds for a two-day total to win the event. Anglers are expecting similar weights to be needed this year. I think you're going to want a little bit north of 20 to have a good chance. I think you'll still be in it with 18 to 19 pounds for sure, but I would feel good having 20 plus on day one going into the second day. Let's go out on the water now to start our coverage with number one ranked University of Montevallo. Merritt Arnold and Chance Schwartz are working a shallow offshore spot to begin the morning. We're in like 13 foot right now. They're kind of up a little bit shallower. I think a lot of people underestimated how shallow these fish are just because of the water temp right now. It's not hot enough for them all to get out there. So I think a lot of people were idling in like 25 and completely missed the ball when it came to 15 foot fish. but. I don't know, that's kind of the only spot I found with, with the shell of fish, so I don't know. Well, not quite the quantity, or quality, but. It'll work for the first one. Go yep. straight at that boat. Straight at the dot.
After this quick break, we continue our on-the-water coverage from Pickwick Lake in Florence, Alabama for the Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops. Keep it tuned here for more. To fishermen and other liars, the time you spent on the docks, the banks, the boats, the lines you cast, and the hooks you set, these moments you share with the people you love, the fish you never forget, and the tales that get taller with every retelling. Make memories that'll last a lifetime with Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. When there's miles of water in front of you and hundreds of feet below, you need a boat with the chops to dominate, no matter the conditions. With the strength and technology to overcome the elements and the competition. Ranger Boats, still building legends, one at a time. You have a full-time job and you want to be a full-time angler. Don't waste time scouting. You want to catch fish. That's where Garmin comes in. Our mapping with Navionics data lets you see more detail than the fish do. It's kind of a big deal. Oh, and our industry-leading live sonar is so crisp and clear you'll think you jumped in. You're welcome. Now if only we had a powerful, efficient, whisper-quiet trolling motor. Actually, we do. It's called Force. We knew you'd like that. Less time finding, more time catching fish. Only with Garmin. Welcome back to day one coverage of the Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops. We go now to Logan Parks and Tucker Smith representing second-ranked Auburn University. They currently have two keepers in the well and are looking for feeding fish to fill out their limit in a flurry. There's some fish out there. Can come in another? Big yeah, big dude. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Baby. That's why we throw the. Got one. Got one. Get the net. Get the net. I got him. <laughs> Where's my hair jig at? I don't know, grab mine. Hold on one second. <laughs> that one threw up a We gotta yeah. catch our breath. <laughs> Dude, he is Make on the, the same cast. Oh. Oh, 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 I got him, I got him. I think now. Golly, dude. Oh, God. The smallmouth. Keep throwing. Oh. Keep throwing. <laughs> They're loaded. Logan and Tucker have had a phenomenal year of competitive bass fishing, both on the college circuit and at top national level events. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go, one million dollars. Late last year, the duo won the Johnny Morris and Bass Pro Shops US Open National Bass Fishing Amateur Team Championships. The event paid out a first place prize of one million dollars, two Toyota trucks, and two Nitro boats. The day after achieving this life-changing victory, the ACA had the opportunity to interview Logan and Tucker on the Rapala We Are Collegiate Bass podcast. It does not feel real. Um, it's pretty crazy just the amount of people that have reached out and I still haven't been able to call or text anybody back. And it's just it's just been insane, man. I, I never would have thought we would have come up here and win a million dollars. It still feels like a dream. We're pinching ourselves. We managed to pull it out somehow. And uh, I don't know, man, it was just surreal the way that it all went down. And uh, the Lord really blessed us uh, this week for sure with that win. We got 17 pounds. We got room to improve, <clears throat> that's for sure. Early on here during day one of the Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops, the two Auburn anglers have sacked up 17 pounds of Pickwick Lake bass in a quick flurry. 
Yeah, we just pulled up on a little spot. We saw some fish yesterday, and uh, they're here. <laughs> Finally. Finally landed on some. But just trying to catch as much as we can while they're fired. Big. Oh God! <laughs> and that's what happened. <laughs> oh. God. Nice job, brother. <laughs> That's a coal. Accidentally throw back the wrong fish, that'd be bad. Not only have Logan and Tucker had a great year as a two angler team, their school, Auburn University, has put together what could be a historic run. Auburn enters this week in second place for the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. If the team can finish the year in second place, this season would mark the highest finish for Auburn in program history. The hard work, dedication, effort and brotherhood built amongst the team has made the last several years very special for everyone involved. I like the brotherhood that it brings together. Everybody's friends with uh, everybody. It's just I've made a, a lot of really quality connections through college fishing, especially through being president of the Auburn team. I've made good contacts with you know potential future sponsors. It's a great way to get your foot in the door in the industry and uh, it just teaches you a lot, but also the friendships that you get. I've made some of my best friends on the Auburn team that I wouldn't have opportunity to do so anywhere else. Nice, there we go. That's a wall. That's a four. 395. How's that for a coal? Now we got 19. Coming up after the break, we continue on the water coverage for day one of the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shots. Stay tuned for more great fish catching action. Reliability. Yamaha is known for it. And it's something boaters value, because these days, few things are built to last. When we find something that is, we hold on to friendships, traditions, outboards, because every second on the water is sacred. If you count on having this time, you need an outboard you can count on to power it. That's why boaters choose Yamaha for the long run, for life, because reliability starts here. Thought I had enough fuel, but I didn't. Now you go to start the engine and you get that click, click, click. When you're out on the water, you never know when you might encounter a breakdown or mechanical failure. But with a Boat US membership, worry no more. Membership provides you with on the water towing services, fuel delivery, and more. Anywhere, anytime that you need assistance. We're here to come to their rescue. Go online today to boatus.com to find out more information. Boat US, we're with you on the water. Understand the fish, design the bait. No, redesign it, trim this, add that. Definitely more of that. Perfect, will they smash it? <laughs> Smashing it and holding it. That's how we do it. That's the formulas, tweak the colors, make it sing, make it dance. Optimize design for that lateral line, all with a single track mind for getting hit, staying bit, ripping lips, for making any fish your fish. That's our science, Berkeley science, baby. This is the Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship. We're here really just to assist the anglers if they may need anything. Boat U.S. is on site this week offering towing services to anglers that might need assistance making it back to the ramp. Whether they run out of fuel, experience mechanical breakdown, or even run aground on a sandbar, the tow boat will be there to help them out. I always tell people when they ask about it, and they're usually like, my friend will tow me here, my friend will tow me there. Uh, I always tell them it's just the cheapest thing you'll ever spend on your boat. It's $99 a year for the unlimited towing, and it's just peace of mind. 
Boat US offers freshwater and saltwater memberships to provide boaters with exceptional services. A Boat US membership provides boaters and anglers with the peace of mind that they are going to be assisted out on the water and return to the ramp safely. They're always happy to see us, whether it be a minor uh, battery jump or a tow from, you know, out in the middle of the water to their home marina. They always have that peace of mind knowing that we, we are coming and we'll be there to them shortly and they're, they're getting help. Back out on the water, only a few hours remain before anglers return to weigh in. Many teams have filled out their limit and are looking for a kicker fish to boost their day one weight. You're bigger. I can't tell to be honest with you. Feels like it. I can't really tell. That's big. Yeah, nah, he ain't big. Can I help? Help. Nope. Man, we're just really looking for one big bite. Uh, we've got five really solid fish, all over three pounds, some close to four. Um, we're looking you know, for that five or six pounder to put us up there towards 20 pounds. Uh, they're not easy to come by right now, especially this time of year. Uh, you know, usually this time of year, um, they're out on these ledges a lot better than what they, what they have been this week. Um, but yeah, just having a big bite is really all we're trying to do right now, and they live on these bridge pilings. We jump on over to Walker Brown and Chandler Brewer from 9th ranked University of North Alabama. The team from right here in Florence also has a quality limit on day one of competition. Well, right now we've got five in there for about 17 pounds. Uh, we got one smallmouth, five and a quarter, and got two that are close to four, and then we got two, two and a half. So if we can get rid of them two, we'll have a really good shot. Uh, maybe not at winning, but leading today, but we'll have a good chance of, you know, sending them top 10, top 12, and uh, possibly having a shot to win tomorrow. So that's uh, it's always a good sign. There he is, big one, big one, big one, big one. Oh man. Stay on. Stay down, big. stay down, stay down. Oh my gosh. The big one. Oh, oh man. Stay on fish. No, 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 no. Boom! Yeah, I don't, baby. That's a good one. How about it? Skinny booger. That'll help. What is it? Scale shows we got a 288, so pretty much a three pounder. Little cold fish number two out. That right there is gonna put us to 17 and a half according to the Rapala scale. Good call. Following this quick break, we return back to McFarland Park in Florence, Alabama to weigh in bass and see who will stake claim to the day one lead. Keep it tuned here for more coverage of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. I've been my living on the water for over 20 years. For 14 years. For over 23 years. I've worn a bunch of different clothing brands over the years. Some companies big. And some companies small. All of them said they were making clothing for us. But none of them knew us. None of them were us, except for one. Except for one. Except one. AFCO. 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 Fishing isn't part of us. It is us. TH Marine has been producing top-of-the-line marine accessories to rig boats from transom to trolling motor for decades. From jack plates to fish care to LEDs, TH Marine has you covered. TH Marine, outfitting your boat from transom to trolling motor. Born in Japan, using technology, innovation, and precision, Sunline produces the widest selection of fishing lines at the most technologically advanced line factory in the world. Manufactured at the strictest tolerances to produce victories at the highest levels of tournament yes, bass fishing. Sir. From household names like Christie, Swindle, and Cruz, to young guns like Cook, Logan, New, and Welcher, they all trust Sunline to take them to the top of the leaderboard. Choose the line that will give you the strength to guarantee your confidence. Sunline. So we are out here at McFarland Park, Pickwick Lake, which is right here in our backyard. And we're really blessed to have it here in the Shoals area, Florence, Alabama, holding one of our favorite tournaments of the year. Florence, Alabama and Pickwick Lake is the host site for the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops. 
Both the anglers and the surrounding community alike look forward to the event being contested on the Tennessee River fishery in the Shoals region. I mean, Florence, Alabama is a fantastic place. There's good food. There's, you know, it's a history of rock and roll music. Uh, you know, a lot of sightseeing you can do outside of fishing, but uh, as for me, I like to spend my time on the lake. It's always an excellent tournament, one of our favorite tournaments to hold uh, here in the Shoals area. We love seeing all the universities from across the country come out, being the Shoals area, and really show what we have to offer. Both the anglers and the surrounding community alike look forward to the event being contested on this Tennessee River fishery in the Shoals region. Florence, Alabama and the Shoals area offer plenty of great restaurants, shops, activities, and hotels. The surrounding area and community offer a great environment for weekend travelers and full-time residents. One of the best things about my job is people come in to our visitor center each and every day, each and every week, asking about the Shoals area, and people are moving to the Shoals area um, because it's a friendly family atmosphere where when you come, you visit, you feel welcome, you feel at home, and you feel like you are one of the locals here in the Shoals area. Back at McFarland Park in Florence, Alabama, weigh-in is underway for day one of the Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops. The famed ledges of Pickwick Lake are kicking out quality limits today. Logan Tucker from Auburn coming up. See what this limit's gonna go. Locks in at 21.53, day one. First place right now from Auburn. Stand right there, hold those fish up, get your picture made, guys. Logan Parks and Tucker Smith from second-ranked Auburn University take the lead early on during day one weigh-in with a five-fish limit for 21.53 pounds. We had a pretty good day. Um, we started off with a hot start. You know, we ran two or three places in the morning that we caught some fish on and it wasn't working. And we ended up stopping on just a, a place that I found some fish that uh, we didn't really know how big they were, but there wasn't anybody on it and it was on the way and so we sat down and ended up catching them pretty good off of that spot. Tomorrow we're going to start on the place where we caught them pretty good this morning and uh, see how it goes. Hopefully there's not another boat on it and if there is we've got some more places where we caught a good bit of fish. We're excited. We didn't hit everything today. We saved some stuff for tomorrow. So I'm really excited to see what tomorrow brings. With the high mark set early by the two Auburn anglers, challenging teams will need over 21 and a half pounds to take the lead. Clint Blackwood and Briar Chambers from Wallace State come to the stage looking to best the current leaders. New leaders right there, 2366. Briar and Clint from Wallace State will weigh that big fish for y'all. Pull it out, hold it up for Kevin before we set it in, in there to be weighed. Look at that, it's gonna have to go a little over six and a half, I believe, to be new big fish. That might just do it. Set it in there. New big fish of the tournament, 823. Take out a couple more, hold up that whole limit for us, guys. That big fish will be worth the power pole behind us. First place can be worth a whole lot more if they can duplicate that again tomorrow. Briar and Clint. Five fished for 2366 from Wallace State. Great day one here. The day started off pretty good. We made a good long run this morning. Got to our first hole, fished around. They weren't set up right, so we picked up, made a quick hop, sat down on our second hole, and it just it happened pretty quick. We got our first three biggest fish in the boat within 10 minutes, and then started putting together a the rest of our limit from there, bouncing around, you know, just trying to make a few upgrades here and there. Cold a few times, but for the main part, we had what we weighed in on our first spot. And when the scales closed at the completion of day one, here's a look at the top 10 teams in the standings. Briar Chambers and Clint Blackwood from Wallace State are in first with 23.66 pounds. Logan Parks and Tucker Smith from second-ranked Auburn University are in second with 21.53 pounds. And Kentucky Christians Gunnar Whitaker and Mitch Johnson round out the top three with 19.40 pounds. That will conclude this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. Next time, we'll bring you final day coverage from the Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops. Be sure to tune in as we crown a national champion and a number one team in the Bass Pro Shops School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia.
Thanks for watching. This has been a Careco TV production. This episode was made possible by these partners. Attention anglers, are you looking for soft tubes or craws? How about big jigs, little jigs, and shaky heads of all sorts and sizes? Do you want some sweet swim jigs that you can take all across the country? When's the last time you stocked up on frogs, wacky rigs, or big old lead shakers? Maybe you just need a few swim bait heads, finesse jigs, and some good old stupid tube jig heads. You'll find all that and more fishing gear when you go online and shop the entire selection of secret lures now. Hey, three key rods that played a great deal in my success this year on the Bass Pro Tour Trail was the seven foot four multi-spin spinning rod in our lithium series. Another rod that I used a lot this year was our seven foot two Covart heavy action rod. Last but not least is our lithium 884 in heavy action. So check them out. Denali rods, I think you'll be happy with the success you receive from them. We don't have a large laboratory to test baits. Why, you ask? We don't need a big laboratory because our pros fish, our employees fish, our owners fish, and our kids fish. This is our laboratory. Our R&D comes from time on the water. All that time on the water brings us thousands of hours of testing new products and improving current ones for all species. Big Bite Baits, designed to bring the big bite to your line. From sun up to sun down, day in and day out, we work hard, we play hard, and to keep us going during those long hours, we demand performance. Angle Coolers, the original high performance cooler. Fishing is all about connecting with nature. Then grabbing nature by the lip and holding it up for a picture.